We've had a week off gallivanting in the Alps and now we're back in the UK to spread the Crimpington Pear joy. On today's show we have a review of some amazing winter accessories from Black Diamond, we take you through some of the projects that we've got coming up over this summer and we announce which one of you lucky lucky viewers has won themselves a pot of monkey fist hand balm. You're so lucky! people of the internet and welcome to Crimpington Bear TV, the only place on the internet where you can keep up to date with all things Crimpington Bear. My name is Peter Neen and I am your illustrious host. Welcome. Now as most of you are probably aware, the days are getting longer, the temperatures warmer and the mountains even more irresistible. So we at Crimpington Bear TV thought it's time for us to test something for all those summer alpinists out there. We at Crimping to Bear TV take our jobs very seriously. No fun and games to be had when there's gear to review. Oh no. This is Crimping to Bear up a rope. So, when we had to review this next item, we thought, what better way to do this than with a ski trip? And here it is, the Black Diamond Mercury Mitt. Black Diamond call this their most versatile year-round mitten. It should be as comfortable crossing a frozen lake in Sweden as it is swinging ice axes in summer alpine conditions. These unisex mittens are made in two pieces. The outer, which is completely waterproof and has a goat leather palm, so it's really hard wearing and durable, and an insulated three-fingered inner glove. I really like the inner glove of these mittens. It allows you to take off the outer and use the inner for increased dexterity, whether you're tying into belay, whether you're zipping up your jacket, or just need to pick your nose. Only joking, the finger's far too big to pick your nose. I use these mittens as my go-to glove when we were shooting in the Alps. I really like the fact that you have the warmth of a mitten with the increased dexterity of a glove. Now there's two places for you to tighten these mittens. The first is at the wrist and that allows you to make sure that the gloves are fitting really well and they're not going to come off or come loose when you're using ice axes or something like that. The second is further up the sleeve and that allows you to incorporate the glove into the other layers that you're wearing, so either under or over your jacket. I think the only slight problem I had when I was using these gloves was that my hands got too hot in the Prima Loft insulation. As I say, this is only a slight niggle, as it just goes to show how good these gloves really are. I definitely recommend these gloves to people who are going out climbing in both summer and winter conditions. However, if you get hot hands like I do, I suggest you take along a thinner pair just so that you've got something to slip into if the conditions get a bit warmer. So, recently we've had a few people ask, what's next for Crimpington Bear? Is it more films, gear reviews, or photos? Well, to be honest, it's a little of all of those. Now, I don't want to give too much away, but in the next few weeks, we're working with a climbing shoe company to produce a couple of films showcasing their brand new models. Our negotiation team here at Crimping to Bear TV have been working their sexy booties off in order to make sure we've got some climbing shoes to give away in the next couple of episodes. I know, I know, you don't feel like you deserve all the opportunities that we're giving for you to win free stuff, but don't feel bad, just like and share all our videos like you have been doing, and we'll have loads more stuff to give away. It's win-win! Other projects that we've got in the pipeline for this summer include a film about why people climb such hard and dangerous routes as well as a film about the unsung heroes of our climbing. The people who actually go out and establish these routes. 
I'm super psyched to be working on these and I hope that you guys are excited to see the films. Last time on Crimping to Bear TV, one man struggled to hold five pots of climbing hand bomb. One presenter's futile endeavor to look cool whilst juggling. Now for the thrilling conclusion of Crimpington Bear TV's competition. That's right, it's time to announce the winners of the Monkey Fist Climbing Barn competition. It was great to see so many people entering the competition. It's just a shame that we can only choose five of you to win. But never fear, if you weren't one of the lucky five, you can still go over to the Monkey Fist website and pick yourself up a pot of climbing barn. So, the lucky five are, drum roll, Charlie Cartwright, Harriet Hall, Will Williams, Chris Rollison, and Alex Murison. So congratulations guys, you've got a pot of monkey fist climbing barn winging its way to you via the good people at the Royal Mail. Everyone else, remember to enter the next competition where you'll have another chance to bag yourself some killer swag. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode, but never fear, like an outdoor adventurous Terminator, we will be back. If you can't handle two weeks without Crimpington Bear goodness, then make sure you've liked our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with all the behind the scenes action from me and the rest of the Crimpington Bear team. So, until next time, keep it with Crimpington Bear.